Little Red Riding Hood is one of the major stories within the show and we had some fantastic works in the show by Paul Arrigo, Kiki Smith and we also have a contemporary computer game called The Path. And I really wanted to look at the notion of adaption and how fairy tales transform across time according to societal values. And then I, I really looked towards visual artists that were working with Little Red Riding Hood. And Paula Rigo, who's a Portuguese-British based artist, um, came to mind and she did this wonderful Little Red Riding Hood suite. And that's uh, almost like a feminist farce. She starts off in the usual way. We see Little Red Riding Hood saying goodbye to her mother with her basket heading off into the forest. She comes across this wolf character who's actually a man dressed in this quite outrageous gym gear. And then we see him dressed up as Grandma talking to Little Red Riding Hood. She looks very suspicious. She's a much more sassy Little Red Riding Hood. And then unfortunately we see the man wolf has eaten Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma and the mother has returned with a pitchfork and is about to kill the wolf. And the last scene of that particular work is the mother actually sitting on a chair with a wolf stole around her neck, being very happy with herself. And what's really interesting about that is that Paula Rigo has really turned the narrative on its head. And she's brought the mother as a strong female character back into the narrative. So no longer does the huntsman and the father come and rescue the little red riding hood, but the mother doesn't actually rescue the red riding hood, but she does seek revenge. Kiki Smith is a US based artist, and the work that we have in the show is called Warm. It is an image of little red riding hood and grandma emerging from the wolf. They're both cloaked in red, and in fact, they're actually the same person. So little red riding hood is Kiki Smith, the artist, as a child, and Grandma is Kiki Smith, the age she is now. And the whole role of the, the wolf is turned on its head as well because it's not an aggressive image. The wolf doesn't have that sort of aggressive side to him. And it does look like they are being born the wolf. also decided to look at some of the contemporary media that looks at fairy tales. And so we've included a game called The Path by Tale of Tales. And this is sort of a gothic horror computer game, which you can actually interact with in the show. It involves six little red riding hood characters who have different names and their contemporary characters. And you can choose one of those characters and actually move into the woods and follow the path and pick up different magical elements but it really encourages you to go off the path so it's quite different to the original Little Red Riding Hood which is much more about staying on the path, staying safe and not talking to the wolf and getting to grandma's house. This is actually about adventure and possibility, it's about giving agency to the person who's playing the game so it really shifts it, rather than the fairy tale controlling you, and in particular controlling the female character, the female character can actually go off and do horrible things. Unfortunately, bad things do happen in, in this fairy tale, but that's not the nature of fairy tale.